David Giuliani is the co-founder of the Washington Business Alliance. Uh, David, first off, welcome, but let's get right into Plan Washington. There's, a, there's a, an envisioning, innovative economic plan for Washington State for the year 2025, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about it, how it came into being. This plan, Plan Washington, is the result of years of research into what it takes to make our state more than it's likely to be on its own. It comes out of the frustration of government being not as capable of doing what it now needs to do for our current society and its complexities. We also looked around the U.S. and found some models that gave us a pretty good idea as to what could be done. In particular, we saw that the state of Oregon had a model called the Oregon Business Plan that had been running for about 10 years. So this was great. We went and visited the good folks in Oregon and saw what they did, and they were very helpful to teach us. In the 10 years that Oregon has been working with this plan, they've gone to now being the number two state in the nation in terms of GDP growth. So wow. that's how we got started. When I hear that there is a plan for, for Washington or a plan for any state, I, I hear that there has to be governmental participation. Is there yes. governmental participation in this? Absolutely. This plan is broad to the extent that it includes all stakeholders, just not just government, but also the private sector, the NGOs, institutions throughout our state that are all motivated to see us become all that we can be. Let's talk, talk about the plan itself. Uh, sure. So how can we get to, how can we get to be this thing? How can we get to be so great? Well, that's a good question. All right. First thing we do is realize that greatness is perhaps a relative concept. So we define some goals the way business is tend to do. Our goal is let's be in the top five states in the country in six areas of economic performance, education, environment, governance, health, and transportation. Hmm. That's a big order. I mean, who's driving the plan? Is it business? It's business, but it's all stakeholders who are interested in making it happen. Our concept is part of it's planning, but a great deal of it is execution, which is to figure out which entities can play what role, get them to be aligned with the work, basically build a collection of bodies that are working to make things happen. Mm. The other is measure results and praise good work, get the word out about the cool things that are happening. When you measure results, though, that's, that's something that sometimes government doesn't like to do because government can't be perfect, neither can businesses. Um, is I suspect that there's probably been some pushback on the form of measurement, right? Not a lot. I think in general there's more buy-in than buy-out with this because in many cases government's really doing a good job but they don't feel like it's their place to praise themselves. And in fact it would seem kind of hollow if they did. Yep. But what if a upstanding business organization came along and vetted the reports and said, these are the findings that we have. We're really happy with what's going on in this particular department. Is, is that the Washington Business Alliance? Yes, it could be us or it could be others. But we see the con contributions from a, a variety of participants towards the measurement and outcome system. Some of these measurements are highly objective and are already being done by third parties. Mm -hmm. The conference here is about innovation and collaboration. That sounds like what you're talking about in the plan. Innovate, collaborate, measure, reward, praise, publicize, mm -hmm. feel and good, feel, and be happy. And you know what? Every single one of those words, every other state could say, what's the difference here? Some states have strategic plans that are comprehensive and others don't. Mm -hmm. We're lucky that Oregon and Washington have those plans going. Ours is a lot younger than Oregon's. One of the themes of the conference today is, what if we built plans like this that are appropriate for Montana, British Columbia, et cetera, and then harmonized them so they converged on a regional theme and dealt with the topics that are of primary regional significance, such as transportation, air quality, water quality, water quantity, and environmental characteristics like um, greenhouse gases, emergency preparedness. When we, when we talk about all of these different things, and the first thing you said was transportation, that was exactly what I was thinking, transportation. Yeah. 
that's something that you know government struggles with here in Washington it State does. and probably everywhere else. Uh, but the the parties at the table is that government, is that railroads, is that uh, transit? Who's at the table? Well, in the case of transportation, it's all those. Another major player is the are the ports and their role in terms of marine transportation. Mm -hmm. How does the general public benefit from the plan being implemented? Oh, wow. Watermelon question. Mm -hmm. We're all going to be better off because a lot more will be done for a lot less money. Wow. A lot, a as, lot a, of, as a voter, that sounds great. A lot of waste will be avoided. There'll be a lot less tendency to take programs that were developed under one administration and throw them away because we want to come up with something new. Mm -hmm. There'll be much more of an interest in staying with what already works because the risk of replacing it with something else runs the risk of not being as productive and people are going to notice. Is current state government on board? Yeah. Governor Inslee sees the value of strategic planning and one of our um, board members at the Washington Business Alliance was on his transition team and taught the value of strategic planning and as a consequence Governor Inslee started Results Washington which is an outcome-based measurement system for his administration. We work closely with the Results Washington people. They focus on state government itself. This plan Washington is broader to include all stakeholders in a longer time period. If this were not to succeed, why would that be? Hmm, many reasons. Um, I think the biggest enemy we have right now is cynicism and frustration. People are getting to the point where with the public sentiment being so untrusting and not confident in government that there's this sense of it's hopeless. But it's not hopeless. We can fix it. Okay. Let's look ahead five years. We're not going to go all the way to 2025. Let's look ahead five years. You come here, you and I are talking, and you're looking back. How'd you do? Well, probably in some ways better than I thought, and in, given my kind of goals in life, probably not as good as I'd hoped. But I think what you'll see in five years will be some real legislative and other forms of accomplishments where things happen maybe faster than they would otherwise, where there's more coherence, where there's less money spent on things that are wasteful, and we'll be able to show tangible benefits, because we already have some of those already. David Giuliani, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. My pleasure.